thought could be impossible to do with the world we live in today. We have peaked cringe. Peaked cringe. Like, whatever the peak of cringe was before, I don't know, probably a TikTok gotcha life video. But we've done it. We have peaked cringe. Somehow, this has raised cringe meters even higher. And while it may not be as genuinely repulsive to look at, it's just... <laughs> like... Genuinely cringe. It's not just like, oh wow, look at that. That's so cringe. That's cringe. Well, I am legitimately cringing every second that I have to be through this. This is just gonna be unscripted ranting for like 15 minutes because it, despite the, how opinionated I am, I haven't actually done a rant in a really, really long time. So this is just gonna be a ton of ranting, whatever I can think to say. So I'll just start off with my personal experience with Jelly Bean. It started in a Merg comment section of all things, because Merg is the best, just in every way possible. And the comments are normally pretty chill. The only ones that just get on all my nerves are the ones that recommend Friday Night Funkin' mods, and the ones that are safe stuff, like, that are trying too hard to be wholesome. That are just the cringe wholesome. But then, I just happened to see, uh, it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece comment. Oh yeah, by the way, I should say this first. I will be deleting, and reporting, and blocking every it's not a mistake, it's a masterpiece comment on this video, okay? All of them will be gone. Do not even bother spamming me. You will be blocked. You will not be able to comment ever again on this channel if you say that phrase a single time. Never again, unless it's ironically. But it's kind of hard to tell what's irony anymore. It's like... I saw it, and I honestly didn't care. I thought it was funny because I don't remember what the video was. Or, I think it was a community post. But it was like a meme. Something stupid, so obviously it got the ironic... Wow, this is so amazing. Like, truly, this is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Because that's what everyone does when there's a meme that lives, looks really horrible. Because it's funny. It's like, wow. Truly, this is a masterpiece. But then I noticed there was another one. And then another one. There were like three. And one of them was spamming it. So I'm like, what the frick is this? I don't understand. Is this an inside joke I don't get? Well, kind of, but it wasn't one with Merv, it was one with this stupid freak. No. Then, I didn't care to look it up just yet, but then I saw it on a different video. I think it was like... Nintendoland. I saw it there. A lot. Not a lot, but a little bit. Well, maybe that came after I looked it up. Well, the point is, I saw it, and it was annoying, and I looked it up, and I was so confused, because I looked at the channel, and I'm like, why would this, this just hunk of mess, get its own spam cult? Because we've had spam cults in the past, and none of them have been good. They're all stupid. There was the original one that I can think of, but oh yeah, yeah. Then there was, oh no, no which is just the reverse, which was kind of funny, I guess. And I'm sure there were others. And just overall, when memes get too big and people start quoting them too much, they can feel like spam. Like the hog writer copy pasta. just at this point feels like spam, even though I still laugh at it every time because my sense of humor has been destroyed beyond, com beyond fixing. But I just look at this and I'm like, what is this? Why would anyone watch this? Why does anyone look at this? And why does this comment exist in the first place? I looked a little deeper. Because the thing about Jellybean is they name all of their videos Minecraft butt and then something that is completely unrelated to Minecraft. So it's just using the Minecraft butt freaking, which is already cancer in itself. I hate the Minecraft butt videos, just like, 
Minecraft, but uh, I can't touch the color blue. <laughs> no. And then the video is just nothing to do with Minecraft. It's just got Minecraft gameplay in the background, and it's probably just the same reused 50 seconds, too. It's probably not even new gameplay. They probably just reused the same thing every time. So, I looked a little deeper, and I found that this originated from Jelly Bean making terrible art. Just, but then there's the, of course, the ironic, wow, this art is horrible, but like this, no, this art isn't bad. This is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life because it's literally a bunch of squiggles that look awful. See, that would have been fine. Who knows who the original person who commented this on? Honestly, I want that person to be fine. This person, whoever originally made this phrase, is the real culprit here. We need to find them. And, I don't know. Something. This is the true culprit. So, someone made that comment, because obviously the thing. And then someone else decided to make... To, to do the same comment, and then everyone was doing the same comment because they have the mind span of a goldfish. So they just can't even create their own comments. And then it came to the point where Jellymean made a video saying that her comments were flooded by spam. And that would have been fine if it ended there. And she also said she started a cult on accident. And she has the audacity to censor the word cult, because we'll get to that later. But it didn't end there, of course. Then, Jellybean decided that to join her own cult into this just awful inside joke that is just... Like, no one even cares about the original art at this point. No one even remembers it. I don't even remember what it looked like. Now it's just lol spam because funny, because we do a little bit of trolling, except it's not that, because trollage and all that freaking stuff goes to people like UTTPs, which we'll get back to in a minute. But, like, what is there even to say at this point? They just decided to join in on it. And then they told them to start spamming it everywhere because they couldn't handle their own spam, so now they're gonna have to punish everyone else on YouTube. They're gonna have to punish them instead. Because even though they did nothing wrong, and you completely deserve your own spam cult to spam you because your videos are awful. And the only reason you ever got popular is because of your Minecraft, if, because your dream face reveal video which isn't even real. But the Dream Face video is still your most popular video as far as I'm aware. And it's the only reason you had a fan base to begin with. Which is a big red flag and now things suddenly start to make a lot of sense. Even though I'd honestly say this is worse than Dream because at least Dream comments were all different. They, okay, well the, they pretty much look the same, but they're not copy pastes. And they're not spam. They didn't spam you. They're just annoying as frick, and don't understand anything. But this is a spam gang. Yeah, they call it a gang instead, even though it's a cult. But it could have ended there, but it didn't. It just kept going. They just never stopped. So then they told them to change their profile pictures because that had to happen. At least they were a little bit more creative and didn't just have them change it to their stupid Minecraft face. They had them actually put the Minecraft face on the original profile picture, which is a little bit better. But it's not. It's like, at least you can still see that the person, what the person was before they destroyed their identity for the sake of a stupid person. But then other people were doing their own spam cults. The biggest one was the AO, which wasn't funny, even though I think I participated in it a little bit. It's still better than the Jelly Bean one, but it's not funny at all. 
and it just got worse and worse. Like, every new spam cult that was trying to counter Jellybean was also by the same person, basically. It was like a complete clone. Just the same thing, but with a different avatar and a different voice, barely. And they actually just got worse and worse as it went, and eventually they entered the freaking cringe, look at me, I'm a cute potato, uh, part, I don't know what to say, what do you call that? That group that calls themselves potatoes and thinks it's wholesome, like, oh, I'm a tiny potato, <laughs> shut up, shut up. But it just doesn't end, and then when they saw that there was other spam cults, they decided, hey, let's make it even worse and destroy your entire identity by replacing the first word in your name with the word jelly. You're literally just taking away everyone's identity. Your profile picture and your username are your- that is your identity for everyone that isn't- doesn't meet you in person. For every- online friend you have, this is who you are. I am super furby to everyone that I know, because I don't have any real friends, but, so yeah, I could still eventually change it one day, because I mean, super furby can't really be a brand, that's not relevant right now, but this has just become such a mess at this point, and Obviously, people call them out for being a cult, and then they decided to make a new phrase, which is, it's not a cult, it's a family. Yes, because a bunch of four-year-olds on the internet are f are family members with other four-year-olds on the internet, as well as 80-year-old creepy old men. Because those people are definitely in there, too. And I honestly just, there's so much more to say but I feel like this video will go on forever. I could go on forever about this, and it's not scripted, so I'm just, like, those awkward pauses are happening all over the place. Also, I think I'm speaking too close to the mic, so I might sound like Jelly Bean herself, which is, we just did like that. That's, a, like, I am, a part of the horrid group that is loud equals funny because it is I don't know why but that the way she does it is just doesn't work it just doesn't all the PNG youtubers are the worst like they're one step above whiteboard youtubers because those literally have zero effort put into them at least they have well, gameplay in the background, they have drawing. Like, as sad as it is to admit it, they're better at drawing than I am, for sure. And the shaky camera movements and then the text, the smooth text, which is honestly not bad until you realize that it's done so kids always have something to look at or whatever. It's like, but, I mean, some of my videos literally had black screens, and people can still watch them. And, like, single images. Like, podcasts exist. Like, my old, old Kirby videos. Just an image. Just an image, and not even a good-looking image. Just, I went to YouTube browser, and I filmed over an image. Didn't even zoom in. You can still see all of the YouTube stuff around it. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't need visuals. Obviously, I'm gonna put more visuals in from now on. Like, I don't know. Or, uh, I think Kirby with a gun has played on for far long enough by now. Let's just drop in something super random. Bam. Okay. Editor, you better put that in. Except I'm the editor, because no one else wants to work with me. Anyway. It just doesn't end, but there's a specific problem, like, you should could be saying, Oh, well, there's no harm in this other than spamming. But other than spamming, then there's no harm in this. But that's not true at all. Because Jellybean 
decided to do freaking hate comment videos, which I don't even know how you find hate comments in that sea of spam. Like, that's an imp that's an impressive task, honestly. Uh, I mean, accomplishment. Oh yeah, I also forgot they tr they got YouTube themselves in on this, meaning that they probably think this is a good thing and that this is fine. Yep, that's YouTube just Susan, please go to hell. Go to hell, Susan. Get a YouTube get a YouTube CEO that has a brain. Please. Please. Anyway. But what was I saying? It's just... Uh, this is suffering. At least the, the spam itself has died down. But Jellybean's channel hasn't. Which is a problem in itself. Because that content is awful. Just, just awful. Even if mine may be lower quality, it's still infinitely more worth listening to. Or watching. What? How long have I been going for? Okay, 16 minutes, that's not actually that bad. What was I saying? Pause. Yeah, they made hate comment videos. And that's fine, reading hate comments is something. I'm not ever really gonna do reading hate comments videos until a long time later, because I read all my comments. All of them. Except ones that are spam, which I've only really gotten once. Maybe twice. But I read all my comments, and there haven't been that many hate comments, and the ones that are are more just uh, big babies arguing than actual hate comments. Like, oh my, you said this, that's... And I didn't agree with it, now I need to make a whole essay of why you're stupid. That's not really a hate comment. That's just a, uh, I'm right, you're wrong comment. The ones that are hate comments are the ones that are literally just, you suck, or something like that. I have gotten a few, but the funny thing is I can literally pinpoint each and every one of them for why they even happen. I know what's going on. There's not just mindless hate. And even what looks like mindless hate might actually be constructive hate, and you just don't realize it because you're the mindless one. Which is very true for Jellybean's channel, who deserves every ounce of hate that they get for the hell spawn that they've created. What else? Okay. But, you know what the problem with this is? They don't blur out the names. They do not blur out the names of the people that leave these comments. Profile pic, name, everything's all up there. You, can, you might as well just say, just go to their channel and drop a channel link while you're at it. And just... To have hate comments, which some of them are funny hate comments, and others are just hate comments. But this is a stan base and a cult, so just having all these people that are saying negative things, which aren't big YouTubers, these are just normal users, little big ba little babies that have no- that can't defend themselves against an army of cringe, just being exposed to this army of cringe. So basically, Jellybean's just like, hey, go attack these people. And they're not gonna, if that does happen, which I'm not saying it will always, I couldn't even find one of them. I tried looking up their channel so I could support them, but I couldn't find it. But, it doesn't matter, it's the point, it's like, all these people out here with their try to be respectful and whatever, and then I can sometimes say, no, you didn't need to be respectful. Stupid people deserve to get called stupid, and that's why I get called stupid all the time. If uh, everyone has the freedom to talk, unless you live in China, Bruh. but everyone has the freedom, freedom to speak about, against things, and that's their choice, you don't have to be respectful on the behalf of the unrespectful. But this is different because this person is like... They're just a whole different breed of YouTuber. I don't even know what to say about it.
Oh yeah, they also want to invade other platforms, which they said they're moving to Twitter, which is actually a good thing, because Twitter is all an unfixable hellhole. And if you can migrate to Twitter, I will be so happy. But that, that, that's not what they're doing. They're not going to migrate to Twitter. They're just going to flood that too. They're still on YouTube. They're still everywhere. Now, we I, I was going to make this video a long time ago. But if I did that, I would probably be destroyed. I would get destroyed. But now there's been enough people talking against it that I can upload this video. Like, all the memers, all the big memers have made, have made an anti-jellybean video. And a lot of commentary YouTubers have done it too. So I think now is safe that I won't get demolished beyond fixing. It's not like my channel was alive anyway. This might be the biggest boost to my channel I've ever, I'll ever have. Which will be very sad if this- I will be very sad if this tops the actual good videos that I create. Which aren't very many, but they are there. For those that don't look at things only for their high quality. So anyway, we've gotten to the point where there's enough retaliation against Jellybean. But literally, they wanted to make a YouTube world record by spamming it not just 10 times. First, they, Their first video, they said spam the cancer phrase 10 times. The second video, they said 100 times. You are literally just taking away these people's lives because they are so foolish that they'll listen to anything they hear. And, but on top of that, they said to get their families and friends involved. So now you're just dragging in people that, you're just harassing your family and friends to join a cult, basically. And, you know, if these people had any parental figures before, they definitely didn't have, they, if they did this, they definitely didn't have any anymore. So we've gotten to a point where there's even a whole destroy jellybean hashtag, which I'm all for. And I'm definitely gonna put it in this video. But there's one clip that I cannot forgive under any circumstances. Which is this stupid clip in a try not to laugh challenge, which is a meme that says all straight people are going to hell because letters. Because that makes sense. And jellybean agrees. Yeah, I could tell they were a part of the LGBTQ from a mile away. But even still, this... Th there's just nothing to say here. That, that, that is just so wrong that... I don't understand how there hasn't... Like, I don't understand how people are still respectful of the LGBTQ at this point. Like, because this is not a rare thing. This is, like, common for the TikTok side of it, and the Twitter side. But just, yeah, they didn't get any backlash for that as far as I'm aware. Now I'm sure they're probably just mindlessly agreeing to everything because that's the point of their channel. But if not, then that's a serious problem. It's like, the whole people group, that's like 50% of the whole world. You know. And I'm not gonna get into LGTBQ right now because I literally will die inside doing it. I'll do it maybe one day, but today is not the day. You can leave it at that. Say what you want about what I have to say, I don't care. But do not fill the comments with it. You can think it, keep it to yourself. There will be come a day when you can do it, but that's not today. I will be deleting those comments as well. That doesn't mean I'm deleting every bit of backlash or negativity I get, because obviously that gives a huge boost. And honestly, just thinking about that, maybe I won't delete all those comments, because think about all of the uh, YouTube algorithm grinding I can do with all that spam. Anyway. 
So, for the last thing I'll talk about, because it's probably the biggest thing, is that Jelly Bean got docks, which is just great. That's like, okay. Did anything come from that? No. I don't see this, this thing, like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't dock someone, or at least I really hope I wouldn't. Maybe I would in the future, probably, honestly. But I just, in, in, unless they were blatantly a criminal or something. Like, well, I also don't even know how it works, so I wouldn't, I couldn't. I would not, see, if Jelly Bean died, that would be a great service to the world and all, but I am not supporting of murder over cringe. Like, if some crazy psycho murderer is out there looking for another target, go ahead. You take that shot for all the people that aren't crazy, but do want the chaos to end, because we would all be glad if this could just vanish. Like, if it could go by, uh, not murder, that would be great, but that's not gonna happen, because do you, who, do you have any idea how much money they're making off of this? They're probably a millionaire by now. So... I don't think there's anything else to say other than that. Like, I'm not a UTTP, I don't need to freaking kill every person that I disagree with, but I did make this funny skit to mock UTTPs that I'm going to show on the screen, except the, now that I mentioned that I'm going to show it on the screen, now it's just kind of awkward, and I don't know what I'm even doing anymore with my life. Uh, this is a stupid video, but I haven't posted in a while, and I keep forgetting to make content. So, yeah. This has gone for 27 minutes, I should probably cut it off here. Like and subscribe or don't. Don't spam. Just at all. Chat room spam is at least somewhat okay because it will be gone in a few minutes. But don't spam comments because those just stay there. They're just annoying. So if you want to browse the comment section, you just see spam. And you can't see actual comments, you know, things people, real people, have to say. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. But Jelly Bean is the worst. They're even going against these quote-unquote haters. Like, come on. Just get a life, please. <gasps> this video is annoying to make, but it'll annoy me even more if I don't say anything about it. Just please don't let this be my most popular video. I will be annoyed. Also, yes, I'm reporting those comments, not just not just deleting them and blocking them, but reporting them because. YouTube, well, YouTube, well, since YouTube won't even get rid of the girl that spams N-words in chat rooms, so they probably won't do anything about this. It's still a warning. You will be reported. You can get reported. You could get taken off of YouTube. So just keep that in mind before you waste all your time spamming messages. Okay, I need to do something productive with my life now. Goodbye.